It's Wednesday, June 17, and this is News Update. Boris Johnson was in a car crash outside Parliament. Football star Marcus Rashford wins free school meals for children over the summer in big government U-turn. Pressure is mounting for Saudi Arabia to make a decision whether this year's Hajj goes ahead. Calls for reinvestigation into the death of Moroccan Floyd in Spain. US Open will go ahead behind closed doors, says New York Governor. And in trending, just how did this basketball ace react to seeing an open mosque? Prime Minister Boris Johnson has been involved in a car crash outside Parliament. He was in a car leaving via the gates of Palace of Westminster when a protester ran out into the road heading towards Mr Johnson's convoy. The driver of the car was seen to hit the brake suddenly to avoid the demonstrator, causing the Range Rover behind to crash into the back of the first vehicle. Both cars left the scene quickly with a visible dent in the back of the Prime Minister's car. More than a million children in England will be able to claim free school meal vouchers in the summer holidays after a campaign by Manchester United forward Marcus Rashford. The government previously said that vouchers would not be provided outside of term time. However, after the 22-year-old's campaign drew traction across social media, it forced the government to go back on their decision. Prime Minister Boris Johnson congratulated Rashford on his campaign, insisting he'd only become aware of it on the day of the U-turn. I uh, talked to Marcus uh, Rashford today and to congratulated on him on his campaign, in which, to, to, to be honest, I only became aware of. Uh, very, very recently today, and I, I, I thank him for what he's done. I think, I think he's right to draw attention to this issue. Thousands of people signed an online petition for Madrid authorities to reinvestigate the death of a young Moroccan under police custody. This was after Spanish daily El País published this uncut security footage at a juvenile centre. It shows six security guards roughly restraining Elias El Tahiri moments before his death a year ago. His death has been ruled as an accidental violent death. But Elias's family is now appealing the decision after the release of the video. Sparking massive outrage, social media users dubbed Al Tahiri's death as Moroccan Floyd due to the similarities of their deaths. Saudi Arabia is expected to scale back or cool off this year's Hajj pilgrimage for the first time in its modern history as coronavirus cases spike. Muslim nations are pressing Riyadh to give its much delayed decision on whether the annual pilgrimage made by millions of Muslims worldwide will go ahead as scheduled in late July. A full-scale Hajj, which last year drew about 2.5 million pilgrims, appears increasingly unlikely after authorities advised Muslims in late March to defer preparations due to the fast-spreading disease. An announcement will be made imminently. The US Open has been given the green light but will be held without fans. No professional tennis events have taken place since March due to the COVID-19 pandemic. The Governor of New York, Andrew Cuomo, approved the go-ahead despite the US having the highest number of coronavirus cases and highest death toll in the world. The tennis uh, authority is going to be taking extraordinary precautions, uh, but that's going to occur in Queens. Tennis player Nick Kyrgios hit out at the tournament going ahead on social media, labelling the decision as selfish. The tour's second major, Wimbledon, was cancelled earlier this year due to the pandemic. The Grand Slam will be at Flushing Meadows from August 31st to September 13. Finally, this feel-good video has been racking up views and shares on social media. The mess is open. The mess is open. I think I heard the Ikama. Is that the Ikama? The Ikama? They call the Ikama, the mess is open? Yes, it's all Ikama. <laughs> the Ikama. The mess is open. And that's it for today's news update. For more, follow Islam channel online. Tune in again tomorrow.